Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way here through Route 102, and we added a couple new team members, which you guys can see right here. We added Zagu, the Zigzagoon. We added Elric, who is also going to be helping us along our journey. Routes was a little bit harder to find, but you know, we added it nonetheless. And today we're going to be making our way to Petalburg City. We finally arrived here, and I'm going to go ahead and make my way in here and say hi to my pretty lady. Hey, how's it going? It's been a long time since. I last saw you. I like the loops. You got the little Princess Leia going on. It looks kind of good on you. You like my three Pokemon? I know. It's one of a million that I'm probably going to catch on this journey. Oh, you're not about that. You like Trap? All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and get out of your business. But with that, guys, we are looking quite good to continue on our journey. Now, if you guys remember, it's here that in Petalburg Gym, where our, uh, you know, rival's dad works, or our dad works, or whatever, depending on the character you choose. Hey, not bad. It was a good battle. Thank you, sir. Come back and challenge me again anytime. I'll be looking forward to seeing you and your Pokemon again when you're a bit stronger. Thank you, sir. I'm going to do special training with my Pokemon. Thank you for the battle, Mr. Norman. Yo, yo, what's up, man? What you doing, man? You can see I got my Pokemon. Why, right, if it isn't Rodri. So you finished moving in? I see. Well, I guess we shouldn't stand around out here talking. Do you want to come in for a bit? We can talk in the gym. Well, doesn't our dad just treat us so nice? Isn't he such a nice fellow? You know, I sure was surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. I see, you're making a good start on your team. Hmm, then I guess you're gonna become a trainer like me, Rodri. Now that's something to look forward to. Um, excuse me. I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Huh, aren't you? You're Wally, right? Uh, yes, I'm supposed to go stay with my relatives in Burdendorf Town for a while, but I thought I might be lonely by myself, so I wanted to bring a Pokemon with me. But I've never caught a Pokemon by myself. I'm not sure if I can. Um, <clears throat> I see. Rodri, you heard all that, right? You go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Alright guys, so this is pretty much, you know, a little bit still the tutorial part. All we're going to be doing here is showing Wally how to catch a Pokemon. I think we all already know how to do this, but nonetheless, it's something that you have to do. Oh, Wally just looks adorable in this. Look at this little guy. I guess you couldn't normally see that in the 2D aspect, but now that he's in 3D, he looks he looks quite cute. What a nice little guy. Alright, well, let's help him out. He actually looks a little bit younger than us in this game. You know, in the other game, his sprite, I don't know, made him seem a little bit older. Maybe it was just me. But here, he looks a little bit younger. If our character is supposed to be 10, this kid looks like he's 8. And oh, yeah, of course, he would bump into a Routes on the first try. It only took me like 6-7 minutes to bump into this thing with like the 4% catch rate or the 4% bump into rate and he gets a zigzagoon our father doesn't even come home doesn't even come home to help us unpack but he gives this this wally guy a zigzagoon i feel like our parents just they, may, they might not be the best parents in hoenn if, if hoenn had awards i don't think our parents would be winning any any time you know i don't think they'd be winning any of those anytime soon all right guys let's go ahead and finish this up then he's gonna throw the pokeball he's gonna catch this and i kind of want to make our way to the first gym today. I feel like that's definitely doable. I also still need to figure out where exactly we get the XP share. I believe the XP share system is gonna be like X and Y, where like 50% of our XP goes to uh, all the other Pokemon on our team or something of that sort. I really hope that happens very soon because I feel like Zagu and uh, Routes really do need some serious training. So with that, Wally caught himself a Routes and it looks like we have a Pokemon in common and that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind sharing Pokemon. So did it go well? Uh, yes, it did. Thank you. Let me give you back your Pokemon, sir. And you, Rodri, thank you so much for coming with me. It was all thanks to you that I was able to catch Routes. My very own Routes. I will always treasure it. Oh, I know. It's not much of a thank you, but I'm um, Rodri. Will you let me see your Pokenav? I guess this is just an upgraded thing. He's upgrading our system. And that's okay. That's really nice of him to do. It's pretty cool seeing some of the changes here that we're actually going to get to see along this journey. The Pokenav is already one of them. This is definitely something that we haven't seen before. So with that, we will catch you later, Wally. Wally's kind of like another rival, you could say. Hmm. That boy will be worth keeping an eye on. But for now, Rodri, if you want to become strong as a trainer, listen to my advice. First head for Respiro City, which lies beyond this town. There's your challenge to gym leader Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders as well. Collect badges from them, understand? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. I'm sure we'll battle one day. That will be one after you become stronger, Rodri. Thanks, Daddy-o! With that, guys, we are ready to make our way out of here and continue with our adventure, as our dad said. So let's go ahead and make our way to the next route then. And we're here at Route 104. And let's just get on going. Ooh, okay. 
Okay, what are we bumping into? I definitely think we're gonna need a little bit of training before we head any further. And whoa, a wingle. Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't really see a wingle coming. All right, that's actually kind of neat. Uh, wait. This could be really good or really bad for us. I'm just gonna go for the pound. If we go into this next gym at level nine, I feel pretty good that, you know, we'll do a pretty good job. I think that Roxanne's Pokemon are gonna be around level 11 or, you know, something around that. So I think if we stay around, you know, nine, maybe 10, I think we'll be looking good. And at least lucky for us for now, we don't really have to worry too much about training our other Pokemon. Uh, not until we get going, you know, later on. But for now, I feel pretty good with our team. I think our team's gonna do a great job. And I'm just looking forward to adding, you know, some of the other team members. We learned Quick Attack too. That's pretty great. And let's keep on going through here. I think we're gonna have a little battle coming up up here. No, not at all. Ooh, let me get some berries. I never mind finding some berries in the trees. Yo, guys, here's a fun fact for you. If you're ever running around the forest, right? This is, this is some real tips for you. This is Rodri's tips of the day. If you ever find some berries, all right, listen to me very clearly. If you ever find some berries, and I kind of wanted to battle this guy. What's up, man? You gonna battle me? You're not gonna battle me? Or what's up? What, really? You're not gonna battle me? Oh wait, we're gonna have to make our way into the forest. I was gonna say, if you ever find some berries in the forest, you know, you, you go ahead and eat those berries. I'm totally kidding. Never eat random berries. You never know what could happen to you. You really have no idea what could happen to you. If you eat random berries, you're probably gonna be in for a pretty bad time. I, I wouldn't, don't, you know, don't take that advice from me. Ooh, okay, so these Pokemon are really starting to gain up on us. I think we'll be better off for now if Boomy gets, a, you know, a handful of levels up on everyone. I think having a stronger Pokemon than everyone, at least at the beginning of the game, will make it much easier on us. And then once we, you know, get going a little bit, then we can mix it up. But for now, I'm just going to train Boomy, and hopefully, you know, it'll be enough to get us at least through this forest place. Uh, and then hopefully... You know, we'll be able to defeat the first gym, which I'm hoping we'll be able to. I, I know the first gym uh, will have a type advantage too, so we'll just cross our fingers, dot our eyes. Also, thank you guys to all you guys who've been liking the videos. I hope you've been enjoying them. I'm putting up a bunch, as many as possible. And what? How did that guy heal? Maybe we should just go for the quick attack. I feel like the quick attack might do a little more damage at this point. Ah, uh, uh, they don't do that much. Honestly, yeah, and this guy keeps using growl on us. I feel like I, I remember taking this guy on and he actually has given me trouble before This isn't the first time. Oh, man. Is this the guy that uses a potion, too? Oh, this is the guy that like leers you down and uses potions, isn't he? This is the guy that makes this freaking annoying Okay, I think I remember this guy from playing through this game for the first time. You know what? It's level 8 like chill, dude we're not even to like the Elite Four or anything yet. I am doing no damage to him. Okay, I, I really am not having a good time here with this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and use Leer on him myself because he pretty much messed up my attack. I literally do nothing to this thing. All right, if that's, if that, oh wow. I'm gonna have to use a potion because this guy might be able to one-shot me. Not even gonna lie here. This guy might be able to take me down with one and I'm not gonna mess around with that. You know, it's only the beginning of the game. I'm not gonna mess around with this guy, uh, you know, diddle dwaddling, knocking me down. I'm not, I don't play, oh, okay, uh, there's no way. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat him. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat him at this point. That absolutely sucks. You have to be kidding me, right? You literally have to be joking right now. I'm not gonna be able to take this guy down. Um, he's probably gonna end up crushing us. I cannot believe this. He went for another tail whip? Okay, yeah, he'll probably be able to one-shot me next. That's absolutely unfair. All right, let's go for another quick attack. It's probably not going to do much to him. Oh, my goodness. It's going to take, like, three quick attacks. All right, he'll definitely one-shot me next time, which kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know. Let's hope for a crit here. Let's hope for a miracle. This... Oh, man. He's Growl. Okay, well, with that, um, we will have defeated him. Thank goodness. Okay, that came really, really close. He could have literally just one-shotted me. We just lucked out there that he went with some dumb attacks. We better get level 10 out of that, because that was probably one of the most intense battles. What? We didn't even get 10 out of that? That's fine. We defeated this guy. All right, this, this rich boy Winston is a douchebag, guys. I hope you don't have to mess with him. Let's make our way inside of the forest then. And, ooh, we have arrived in the Petalburg Woods. That is so freaking cool. What's up, Petalburg Woods? What up, everybody? Wait, is this even... I don't think I'm even headed the right way. I don't even know where I just popped out. Now, this is back in Route 104. That's definitely not where we want to go. Uh, what's up, little guy? How, how you doing? You, why are you, why are you chilling here alone? All right, Petalburg Woods. Let me try to remember how to make my way through the Petalburg Woods. Ooh, 
Let's go ahead and pick this up. We got a paralysis assist heal. And uh, the Petalburg Woods actually look really, really nice. Look at them. They're beautiful. It's just nice getting to see a little bit like this. And this is where we have to go. And hey, what's this guy doing? Eh, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Oh, wait. Oh, oh my goodness. Already, sweet. It's a Team Magma Grunt. Oh, man, look how cool they look. They're wearing one of those weird little outfit things. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dwaddle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Eh, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please! Ha, huh, what do you think you're doing? What, are you gonna protect him? Oh, wait! This guy is like 40 years old, hiding behind a 10-year-old kid. How about you slow your roll a little bit, man? Look, you're 40 years old. This kid we're battling is probably like 18, maybe 16. You're 40, dude, just whoop him up! Call up, call up his parents. All right, guys. So we're finally here in a, a normal battle. Hopefully this Puccina doesn't pull the same stunts that that Zigzagoon was pulling. You're going to pull the Zand attacks. You're going to really pull the Sand attacks on me. This game is not letting up today. This game is going to be brutal on us. Can I just hit? Oh, that was pretty good. That was actually pretty, pretty good. And I'm glad that we're actually putting some serious damage on it. Let's keep on going. I'm going to go for another quick attack. We're rolling, guys. We're rolling. I'm pretty, pretty, I'm feeling pretty excited. Ooh. I think we'll be able to take it down next because I don't think the team Magma Grunts are smart enough to use potions here. And if they are, no, they're not. Not at all. Oh, come on, man. I almost had it there. That's okay. That's okay. I'll get them this time. I'll get them there. Go for the quick attack, booby. Go for the twi quick attack, baby. There we go. There we go. Sweet. Hopefully, we get the XP share soon, though. I really, really want to train routes up. I definitely think we're going to need routes to be trained up. If anything, I'll probably do it off screen if it comes down to it if we don't get the XP share in time. So, I'll probably do that before next time, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. All right, guys, with that, we defeated the Magma Grunt. Ah, you got some nerve meddling with Team Magma. Come on and battle with me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we have Team Magma also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go for today. Huh, I wonder what they could be looking for in Rustboro City. Man, that was awfully close. Thanks, you. He didn't rob me of these important papers. I know. I'll give you this my thanks. Yeah, we obtained the XP share. Finally! Okay, guys, so we finally obtained the XP share. I was just talking about it, and I guess that's where this game is going to give it to us. That's absolutely amazing, and I'm, I'm really, really glad. That's actually going to make training so much easier, and this guy was nice enough to restore our health, too. Wow, that was really, really awesome. I'm definitely going to have to do some training off-screen now that we finally obtained the XP share, uh, which is something that I definitely really enjoy. Okay, I might have to actually battle one of these guys. But like I said, I'm going to be doing a couple of training off-screen. You know, the leveling up system is pretty easy now uh, with the XP share. Like, if you guys have ever played X and Y, your Pokemon usually will never get left behind just for the fact that the XP share is so efficient, you know? It pretty much just sets your Pokemon up for success. I know that, you know, some people don't like it, but I'm personally, I like it a lot. I think that training can be a little bit tedious, and the fact that, you know, they give you the XP share so early, I really enjoy that, because uh, I'm the type of person that would much rather, you know, play through the story than waste my time training or, or something like that. And as you can see, our Pokemon already began gaining some XP. Let's go ahead and take this guy down too, then. This is great. I'm enjoying the XP share. That That's going to help a lot. It's going to make me, you know, not have to skip as many battles and not have to train in the grass as much as possible. You know, I don't really think... Uh, when I played X and Y, there was an instance where I totally had to, you know, tr like, uh, train my Pokemon. I think maybe, like, once, but other than that, I didn't do a whole lot of training, and I'm hoping that'll be kind of how this is. It's going for a Leech Life. Are you serious, dude? Are you serious? Oh, it is super effective. I completely forgot. All right, I'm gonna go for the Quick Attack. Take me to take down this thing. Do a ton of damage. Okay. Okay. Okay, that, that didn't do as much as I wanted it to. This is making me nervous, though. Honestly... I definitely need to do some training because, you know, messing with these Pokemon like this makes me a little nervous. Also, I feel like next time I'm actually going to transfer all the stuff from the demo to this game. Uh, just so we have a little bit more money and I can stock up on potions. It was very nice of this game to start out by giving us a bunch of potions. I must say that was a very, very nice asset to this game. I quite enjoyed that feature, but I do want to get everything from the demo that we did together uh, onto this game. Like all the nuggets and all the weird things and the, the hard scales and all those sorts of things. Because I know they're going to definitely help us once we get our journey going. I think we can knock this thing out right here. Come on. One more quick attack should do it. Knock the Ninkata down. All right, get with that, we're ready to go. I guess we won't be taking on the gym leader in this uh, during this time. I really thought we were going to, 
but that's okay. I mean, we'll do it next time. We gained a bunch of XP. Zagu is growing. Uh, oh, Elric grew too. Cool, cool. I, I really want... Oh, there we go. Elric learned Confusion. That's definitely going to help us out as we get going. I want Elric to learn a Psychic move as soon as possible. Uh, so hopefully that will be coming very, very soon. And we've actually almost made our way out of here in Petalburg, uh, which is fantastic. I can't believe we already made our way through it. We got Nether too. Let's see what the sign says. Probably trainer tips. Yeah, I knew it. There's always a trainer tips near the end. It's like this big sign that confuses you. But hey, who is this? Hey, this is Petalburg Wrecking Team checking in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Miss Courtney. It's not good news. This mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I'll continue investigating that entity we detected. Phew. But that kid sure had some promise as a trainer, I'd say. Whoa, so something is going on here that I was not expecting at all. Next time, guys, we will continue from this point and make our way, hopefully, towards uh, Rustboro City. We're almost there, we're getting close. If you guys have any tips or suggestions or Pokemon teams, let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. It really, really helps, guys. It helps the series a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.